Hello there guys, welcome to episode 10 of the Blackpool gameplay. We may as well strap ourselves in because we think it's going to be a bumpy ride at the moment. Uh, while you've been gone, I've actually managed to secure the deal of Clayton Ince on a free contract. Um, because we are lacking in that goalkeeping area. Also tried to put in a bid for David Partridge from Crew as well. Just really looking to see uh, all these players that are coming out of contracts. My aim is to actually try and really get one of these or the odd, the odd two maybe possibly uh, who fancy coming to us but it's it's really tricky we had people like um, Tommy Mooney who we thought we could get uh, there was another one that went so Andy Gray was another one that we were really hoping to get but then he decided to pick Preston instead uh, Chiotis has moved we knew he was going to move someone big and he's gone to Basique Task that's completely understandable still waiting on Leon Osman we don't I mean yeah now, he's absolutely no interest in joining, which is quite surprising, really. Uh, Scott Wilson. I mean, he's at Rangers, isn't he? Would he come? Yeah, he's, he's, you know, yeah. Let's put a bid in for him. Let's see if that works. This guy. If we manage to pull this guy off. That sounds so wrong. If we manage to get this guy, that would be something phenomenal in my eyes. It really would be. I don't know if we will, but we'll have to see. Um, so let me just quickly fill this team in as I go. I just want to make sure that we've got the strongest possible team ready. So Bullock. There's so many injuries. Clarkson, Richardson. We'll shove Richardson on the left. That's what we'll do. Attacking midfielder. Ormrod's obviously injured. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put. Actually, let me put Milligan in. Then let me put Clarkson as the attacking mid, and then Madeira. Um, Tommy, okay, and as well, McKenzie and Fenton on the bench. Let's just see if Clarkson can actually do the job as an actual attacking midfielder, rather than just sitting in midfield and pushing onwards. I don't hold much hope. I don't hold any hope for any away games at the minute with Blackpool, because we're so inconsistent, it's frightening. The only time I believe we can actually get a win is when we are at home. And even then, the likelihood of that is very, very slim. Um, I think we just need to build ourselves up for next year. I think anything in the playoffs is, is a bonus. There's no chance we're going to get automatic promotion. Even though I've played games in the past where you do have that final spurt at the end of the season where you win like about five games or so and then all of a sudden you're in the top two and you think to yourself, how on earth have I got here? Um, I don't think we have the ability to do that this year. I, I can't see us achieving that. But I'm hoping that this there's a possibility of it. But I think the players that we've got, I don't think, are good enough to go up at the minute, if I'm being perfectly honest. I think we've got a range of attacking midfielders, which are really good. Um, but as a squad, we're just not doing it. Uh, we've got Peter Brunext as well, and they're just above us. Though. And that's at home, which is, a, which is an incredibly big game for us. Um, but, yeah, I'll take a draw here right now, to be honest with you, because we very rarely get points away from home. There we go, Milligan with the equaliser there. Hopefully, if we push on, it would be amazing, but I'm very much doubting it. Um, can we hold on, or can we push on to get another goal? Um, Oh, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I did think we were going to get beat there. Again, another injury. Oh, another centre-back is out, which is wonderful. Hopefully, Hughes will be back fit. So I'll shove him in now, just in case, because we play on the 12th, which is in three days' time against Peterborough. Then we've got that Vans Trophy thing, which, again, I said at the time that we could actually win that thing. It depends if we want to go for some silverware, if we really just focus on the league. I mean, obviously the number one priority is the league to go, get promoted and to attract players, you know, likely on Osman in the future. There we go. So we managed to get that. Obviously, they're coming on the 1st of July, which will be at the end of the season. But already it's a building block for next year and to sort of push ourselves further. I mean, if that ends up being in Division 2, it's in Division 2. It, you know, there's nothing we can do. 110k. People are coming in for this guy, you know. I'm accepting it. I am accepting it. He, he doesn't play for us. I mean, yes, he's young. Look at I me. Mean, look at the money situation as well. We actually need that 110 grand. I'm not letting Gordon go. I don't think I can do that. He's still injured. All right, so we'll shove him in on the bench. Ooh, Milligan. 
Clarkson. So, Milligan, we've got McKenzie, Clarkson, Fenton. Madeira's exhausted. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about how much I'm. Oh, yeah, Blinkhorn's here. Should I give Blinkhorn a game? I think I will, you know. Sub two, sub three. Let's leave Clarkson out for now. Oh, Blinkhorn's just played in the reserves. I'll bring him on the bench, and then what I'll do is I'll sort of bring him on, possibly. Because if Madeira's exhausted, then we're going to be in trouble, especially against a team like Peterborough. That's God, oh, you just know it's going to happen, don't you? You know that it's such a big game as well. Come on, get another one. Now, half time. God, we're still in and around that area, though. I think, yeah, shit team's going to have to be played against Scunthorpe. I'm going to have to play a weakened team for that. There's no way I can. Even if I get beaten this game, we're going to have to play a weakened team. Come on, get a goal. I think Madeira's definitely going to be rested for this next game. If he's exhausted, he's definitely out of it. I'm not even going to take him, actually. I might, I'm not even going to put him on the bench. Oh, God almighty. Oh, we're struggling. We are struggling here. Another defeat. And we're slipping out of those playoff places. It's just not good enough, really. I mean, we seem to be going around in circles. Um... This form is shocking. We just have a look here. Team stats, form, away form. Look at that. Twenty third away form, home form. Where are we there? Ninth. It's still not good enough. Games won in a row. Games lost in a row. God Almighty! How many goals we? Oh, we're top scorers though. I think that's down to Madeira really. Yeah, he's got 29. He's, he's a class act, isn't he? Uh, right, guys, I'm going to leave it there because the next the next video that I want to play is the band's trophy where we possibly do stand a chance of progressing and winning some silverware. Um, and then we've got Wickham away. Do you know what? I dread the league. I really do. Every single game that I look at, I'm, I'm panicking because I don't think we can win it. But there we go. I might have to start thinking about changing the formation as well a little bit. Um... But I'll have a little think about that later on. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe. See you later.